new 2019 Ram Heavy Duty is the most powerful, capable truck we've ever built. It'll outhaul, it'll out tow any other pickup out there. It delivers maximum capability without sacrificing comfort. One way to get there, obviously, was a thousand pound feet of torque, but the other way is to reduce vehicle weight. Uh, weight on a vehicle is payload. Whether you're hauling the weight or it's in the truck, weight is weight. So from front to back, top to bottom, including the body, the chassis, we reduced the weight of the Ram Heavy Duty in the 3500, 143 pounds. We used an aluminum hood. We used high strength steel. We lightened the frame in certain areas. We stiffened the frame in other areas. We added capability into the frame. We added hydro mounts to the frame. The Ram Heavy Duty now has 70% high strength steel in the frame. We've enhanced and improved the braking system for the Ram Heavy Duty with all new components at the wheel ends. We've also improved the pedal ratio to make it easier to apply the brakes. And when you combine that with the, the best in class exhaust brake on the Ram Heavy Duty with the 6.7 liter Cummins, it's the best Ram Heavy Duty we've ever made when it comes to being able to stop a load with confidence. We have the class exclusive five link coil suspension. Um, we also offer an air suspension on the 2500 and that also goes into the 3500 as a supplemental air suspension system. Within the air suspension, there are different modes depending on the customer usage. The normal mode is a self-leveling payload mode, so as the customer adds payload to the truck, the truck automatically adjusts and levels. You can also have an alternate ride height mode or alternate trailer height mode, so that when you put a trailer on, you can level the load out, which is ideal when you're actually towing. Um, there's also a, a bed lowering mode. It allows you to lower the rear of the vehicle on the 2500, and it reduces some of the work you have to do when hooking up a trailer because you can drop the vehicle and you don't have to raise the trailer up as, quite as much. The shocks can actually pick up on the road surface that you're driving on. The way they're constructed, if you go over a large event, they'll actually allow the fluid to pass through the shock and so you don't get that impact. But if you're on a rough dirt road, the, the valving in the shock will actually change to be able to, again, dampen out those events to, again, to, to provide a, just an incredibly smooth ride. Power Wagon, we also made improvements to that. It's still got the 6.4 liter Hemi, but we've coupled that with the eight speed trans, which improves off-road capability because you got more gears depending on the terrain you're on. And it still comes with the lockers. It still has the Bilstein shocks, but we've also made improvements to the winch on the Power Wagon. We've added a 12,000 pound worn xenon winch, but we've used synthetic cable instead of the, the, old, uh, the old steel cable, which actually gave us a weight reduction as well without compromising the capability of the winch. And it's still the only factory truck that comes with a winch.